I wanted to make the chicken soup from Balaclava Deli. You know, we've got that beautiful soup, which we now call simple chicken soup. This is just quick and easy. Does so it tastes amazing, I obviously, think, or you wouldn't have made it. I think it celebrates the chicken. You know, it tastes like chicken. You don't have anything else coming No, out. and you get a tiny hint of the dill, a bit of sweetness from the carrot, and it's really delicious, clear, golden as anything. This soup is really beautiful to make. So I started off, I got the chicken and put it in a pot with the peeled carrots, the onion, not peeled. I think yeah. it adds richness of colour, actually, to oh, keep yes. the skin on. Yeah, My grandmother used to do that. Put it in, covered with water, bring it to the boil. And then the most important step, of course, which we've been telling each other for years, yeah. is to skim. But only during the boiling phase. And after that, you really don't need to, because it should be clear. And then how long does the soup cook for? This one's one and a half hours. I'm using kosher chickens, because I think the flavour that they give to a soup is mm. really fabulous. So then I tasted it when it was cooked, and it already tasted fantastic. I just needed a little bit of salt and a little bit of ground pepper. Then let it cool for a little bit in the pot, strain it, take all the bones out, keep the carrots. I don't know about you, but I love the carrot in the yeah, soup. Yeah, it reminds me of my childhood. If you have time, you can put the soup in the fridge overnight and a layer of fat will form on the top. The next day, you can just remove it with a spoon. And tell me, the matzo balls. What I love about this is it's a simple recipe and it's extraordinary. You whisk egg whites till they're stiff peaks and then in a separate bowl, you beat the yolks with a fork. You add in some water and some oil then the matzo meal. Season it well, remember they need a lot of seasoning. Mix that and then as the electric mixer is going, you add in spoon by spoon of the matzo meal mixture. Do that till it's all incorporated and then you get a lovely, light, fluffy matzo meal mixture. You let it sit on the bench for 15 minutes and you give it a toss through with a spatula. Let it sit for another 15 minutes and then with wet hands, make matzo balls. And the secret is, do not compress the mixture. Be light but firm. And the size is important, between a golf ball and a tennis ball. I'm so a golf ball girl and I don't even play golf. And remember when they're raw, they're small, so they're yes. gonna grow and expand yes. in the water. Pop them into a pot of boiling salted water and when the last one goes in, then I time 20 minutes. When the 20 minutes is done, turn it off and let it cool in the water. Mm -hmm. They can sit in the water until you're ready yeah, to pop them. They can them. sit in the water in the fridge until you actually heat them. I am going to teach my kids that chicken soup recipe so when they move out, when they feel off colour, they can make their own chicken soup. No, 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 no sorry. They've always got to come home for chicken soup.